Hi everyone, I'm Safira Howell and today I'm going to be talking to you about how I sat in a boardroom at age 17. I'm going to tell you a story, talk to you about what I learned from it, and also tell you about how to seize opportunities in your life. It was my junior year of high school. There was a YouTube ad starring Diplo for K-Swiss saying that K-Swiss was looking for 100 entrepreneurial minds to be the board of K-Swiss. That's what they were calling the program to rebrand and reshape K-Swiss for a new entrepreneurial generation. The ad linked to their website where you could apply to become one of these 100 people. And something in me thought, going to apply for this position. I filled everything out. There were a lot of questions in the questionnaire. Um, it asked you what your job was, what your experience was. I didn't have much experience and I didn't really have a job because I was a high school student, but I did have all of my online work, uh, which I shared with them. And a few weeks or maybe a month later, I got an email saying that they had accepted me into their program. I was ecstatic. I remember posting about it on Facebook and no one really understood what it was. So people were saying like, congratulations on question mark. Over the next few months, they gave us different projects to do, like designing a pair of tennis shoes. We did projects on brand positioning, what it would really look like to target entrepreneurs. We did a project around a campaign that would be based in social responsibility. We mapped out what their social media approach should look like. We created lookbooks, and then we also created a general business plan. Now, this was already really cool, but then over the summer, I got an email from them saying, Hi, Safira. We wanted to invite a few people from the board to come meet us at our LA headquarters, really talk to us about where you see things going, we want to get to know you better. And we ended up having, I want to say it was like a three hour meeting um, in their boardroom at their Los Angeles headquarters. In the email invitation it said that if you were a minor, which I was, um, to come with a parent or guardian accompanying you. That didn't seem very cool to me so I decided to ask for forgiveness if necessary instead of asking for permission, but no one said anything about it when I showed up on my own. I've been to a lot of different brands offices. A lot of the time it's like a floor or a section of a floor in a building. No, nope, this entire building was their building. So when I drove into the parking lot and saw the whole building, I was a little bit shocked. I walked into the lobby and there were K-Swiss posters everywhere, shoes everywhere. Somehow I made it to the boardroom where everyone was already sitting down. I think there were eight or 10 other people from this program that were there. Then obviously all of the employees at K-Swiss, domestic and then global marketing managers. Um, a lot of their designers were there. I sat down, not at the head of the table, but you know, at the seat right next to it. So I was all the way on the end. We were all talking and then our meeting began and they wanted us to start by introducing ourselves so that everyone could get to know one another. And uh, I said that I would go first since I was at the front. I introduced myself. Hi everyone, I'm Safira Howell. I'm 17, I'm from Los Angeles, and I run this YouTube channel. I told them about how I connected with my audience and different brands, that was my introduction. I remember everyone seeming really impressed and me trying to stop from getting all red. Um, and then the man sitting next to me, I think he was in his 30s, he introduced himself as a Grammy Award winner and I was like, Okay. The person next to him was a really famous Vine star. This was when Vine was still a thing. The person who sat next to him, she said that she owned her own tennis shoe company. It was just impressive person after impressive person after impressive person. So we had this meeting. They showed us the new content that they were working on based off of the program. Um, they showed us their line for the next year. And we just talked a lot about the brand, um, the brand messaging, the brand positioning, everything like that. A few months after that, the program ended. But over the course of the next few years I continued to have the same contacts at K-Swiss and kept in touch with them which ended up unlocking more opportunities to work with them in the future. That completes the story but here is what I want you to take from this. When it comes to opportunities you cannot just wait for the right time because if I had waited for the right time for that opportunity then the opportunity would have passed. If you have the I'm just going to wait for the right time mentality then you're never going to get anywhere because it's never going to feel like the right time. We could always be more qualified. The next thing that I want you to take from this is that contrary to popular belief, opportunities do just fall in your lap. The problem is that when this happens, most people don't seize them. I heard somebody say this once and it really made an impact on me. The people who are successful are the people who seize the opportunities because everyone has opportunities but not everyone takes them. Yes, everyone has a different amount of opportunities but everyone still does have them and if you're not the kind of person who's going to take them, then what's the point of having them in the first place? Opportunities show up everywhere, whether that's in a YouTube ad or in an email. This is applicable to anyone in any field 
um, in any walk of life, there are opportunities. An example, uh, let's say a college student who's looking for things to put on her resume, whether that is an internship or a scholarship, um, an award. You can go online and you can search for things and you can apply for things and maybe you will be accepted into those things. But what about all of those emails that your university sends you about, hey, we're looking for someone for this job and hey, we have all of these scholarships that we want to give to people and oh, we will be announcing this award next month. Um, please send in your information if you would like to apply. And here's the secret. Most people ignore all of those emails because for some reason when an opportunity just falls right into your lap instead of you going out searching and working to find that opportunity it doesn't feel like as much of an opportunity as long as you are the kind of person who follows through takes opportunities and doesn't just put them on a list saying I'm gonna fill this out later or cool maybe I'll do this next year if you can find the follow-through in yourself to do things immediately you will find yourself with so many more opportunities and the last thing that I want you to take from this video opportunities unlock more opportunities. Let's use this Case Swiss program as an example. After I took the opportunity, I applied and was accepted. First, I met a lot of incredible people. All of those people are home to an infinite amount of opportunities. I made brand connections with the people at K-Swiss, and a year later, K-Swiss funded a trip to New York City that I wanted to go on. That was another opportunity. And number three, I was able to put this on my resume. That might help me unlock another opportunity with another company because of this experience. And this could go on forever because if you think about the job that I get hired for because this was on my resume and then all of the opportunities unlocked by that position, it really begins to snowball. I think hearing about experiences like this is really powerful because we kind of forget about all of the cool things that we've done and all of the cool things that those things have unlocked for us. Um, so tell me in the comment section either about an opportunity that you took that turned it into something huge for you or an opportunity that you hadn't really thought about taking but now you're definitely going to take. Thank you so much for watching. You can see more of my day-to-day -day life on my Instagram and Snapchat. Those will be linked down below and as always be happy.